For today's micro moment, I'm going to give an update on the Tattler things that we have running and then a little bit of news about future videos. So let's start with the Tattler. Now I said from the beginning that I would do 30 jars and uh, with, with the Tattler um, gaskets. So every one of these lids that has a big capital T on it is a Tattler gasket being used on a previously used flat or lid. And so we were going to be experimenting with this to see how long it would hold because there was some concern about whether or not it would hold very long term at all. So as you can see by the dates on here, 10, 29, 21, most of them, well here are some that were done on the 30th and then um, these looks like we're done on the 28th. So we're talking about five weeks out right now. So as you can see I did um, veggies. So I've done carrots and corn and baby lima beans and uh, more carrots. And so, so far, everything is fine. Holding good. Still holding very well. All are still sealed. We can lift them up by the lids. So, that is going just fine. And I'm not going to open any of these, at least for six months. And we will see how they do month by month. I'm going to give an update every month. Then the other thing that I did just the other day, um, when we, I showed um, vacuum sealing using this Tadler lid, and actually it was on a quart of these freeze-dried um, Skittles. And um, <clears throat> so a couple of people reported that they also had used these Tadler lids for vacuum sealing, and while they worked at first, they didn't hold. And so this is another part of our experiment. This has only been day two of this. So we will be checking in on this vacuum sealed uh, jar of the freeze dried Skittles to, to be sure that it holds its vacuum. So we'll be checking on there. So that's the update of the Tattler. Then the other thing I wanted to chat with you about is that uh, just over the last couple of days, I have had some questions emerge about retort canning. and retort canning is what they do commercially and the basic idea is that they put the food in the can put the lid on and vacuum seal the can before they ever process it and then they put that vacuum sealed can in a great big canner called a retort and then under pressure they bring it up to and it goes very fast because their equipment is so much um, more powerful than our home canning equipment is and so they're able to get that uh, pressure up high enough to where the foods are in the kill zone for long enough to um, make sure that, that the possibility of botulism spores is completely eliminated. So that's what retort canning is. Some people are starting to do it at home using regular mylar bags instead of cans and doing it water bath canning instead of pressure canning. And so I think the time has come for me to have another video on retort canning and whether or not you can safely do it at home. And the answer to that is, well, it depends. And in the video, well, um, I've got to test my own equipment first. So I'm gonna do some research and some testing. And if my equipment will do it safely, then I will bring that to you so that you will know what safe retort canning can be at home. Now, none of this has been approved by the USDA, so I will be using my data logger to ensure that what we do is safe. So um, we will look at that in an upcoming video. Just as soon as I'm ready to do that, I'm gonna bump that video to the top of the list because it has become a concern to quite a few people. One more thing that I am working on with lots and lots of requests is more uh, dry soup mixes and particularly with beans. So um, I have also been doing some research on doing fast beans. At least that's what I call them. That is when you cook the beans fully and then you dehydrate them. And then when you use them, they cook really fast instead of having to wait two hours. So we'll be doing a video on fast beans and then also um, dry soup mix that uses those fast beans 
along with some other pretty yummy things. So that is another thing that we are working on. So that is our update for this week. And we hope you have a great week and we will see you next Monday for our micro moment.